Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I'm going to share with you um, I think uh, some uh, simple experiment on how to run linear polarization measurement or uh, potential dynamic polarization using metro ohm drop sense potential stat This um, potential stat is one of the uh, most uh, easiest or most cheapest potential stat that you can buy in the market uh, it cost me around uh, 24,000 ringgit if uh, I think we convert it into USD it's actually um, around uh, 6,000 or uh, 5,000 uh, USD around that so price is quite affordable to those who wanted to do electrochemical methods but have a minimum budget so the potential stat uh, package comes with the main potential stat it is actually portable and it is also powered with battery so you can actually bring it to uh, I think uh, to site or to the field if you want to, to do uh, on-site measurement and uh, it is not as the same as gamry where i think the colors of uh, the electrode is basically different uh, actually the red color over here it is actually uh, assigned for um, working electrodes and then uh, for the black color clips it is actually assigned for counter electrodes blue color is basically for reference electrode and the green color is basically for ground electrodes so the package is also comes with a dummy cell so for a first timer uh, you can actually calibrate your potential stat just to see the, if the connection is okay or not okay so for the experiment uh, setup i'm actually going to use a cell here um, if you wanted to know more about the cell i have actually mentioned in my previous videos it is actually made from perspex and it has some uh, I think exposed area around two centimeters diameter at the bottom so the idea is actually you slot in the metals underneath so this is actually the uh, metals that I'm going to try uh, it's um, stainless steel it has uh, I think uh, quite a good surface and we are going to slot in inside uh, the cell so for the reference and counter electrode, I'm going to use uh, saturated calomel as a reference electrode and then uh, platinum uh, electrodes as a counter electrode. So this is actually after I have um, adjust the plates, I slot it inside and you can see that will be the exposed area for our corrosion uh, measurement. So I'm going to put the solution inside so uh, the test solution is basically a saline solution 3.5% uh, of uh, sodium chloride solution and uh, for this cell uh, I think the uh, volume is around uh, 50 ml so I'm going to pour in inside okay And next I'm going to fix the uh, other two electrodes inside this cell okay so now I have actually fixed the other two electrodes inside so you can see that the uh, saturated calomel uh, electrodes is basically this one and then uh, this one is actually the platinum electrodes and I think you can actually see how the connection have been made so the saturated calomel uh, is actually our reference electrode and reference is basically uh, clip at the blue electrodes and then um, for the platinum I think the platinum electrode it is actually clipped at the counter electrodes and then uh, for the working electrode it is actually clipped at the red um, colored uh, electrodes so uh, this actually function as a working electrodes so I think um, Overall, if I actually compare with the other uh, types of potential stat, which in this case, like for example, Gamry, uh, the colors of the clips is basically different. So it depends on the type of uh, potential stat that you are working with. So I think 
now we can actually proceed with the experiment. Okay, so I think we back into the uh, PC system. So the cell is actually uh, at the sides, and um, over here you will see that uh, we have the software uh, that is used actually for uh, drop sense, which uh, it is named as Drop View. So this Drop View software, Drop View. 8400 will be used during this experiment so we just open this and then uh, it will uh, I think uh, open a new tab for uh, drop view uh, software so what is actually missing over here is that we have not switched on the uh, potential stat so the potential stat switch is actually located behind this so you just need to press it and you will see that there will be a uh, uh, light switch on and then uh, from here you can actually uh, try to connect the device with the potential stack so just go to device and then uh, connect so you will see that it will start to connect between the system and also the potential stack so <clears throat> right after that you will see uh, this uh, this tab or this uh, windows so in order to start um, what you need to do first is actually to choose the methods of course over here it is mentioned as linear suite voltammetry so we are not going to do LSV uh, for this video but we are going to do linear polarization resistant or LPR so you just go to uh, this icon this is actually assign a new technique to select uh, node okay continue yes and then uh, you will choose actually the methods that you wanted to do of course as I mentioned earlier that we are going to do LPR so you will see over here it is uh, mentioned uh, linear polarization resistant so just double click this and you will see that uh, it will actually uh, give you some uh, values over here so things that you need to um, of course uh, take into consideration is that the uh, parameters over here so if I can actually go slightly near you have um, OCP which means the uh, open circuit potential values so you can actually adjust from here it depends for for I mean uh, for our experiment let's say that uh, you want to do it for uh, 10 minutes so it will be like 600 second and then uh, uh, the rest is actually you can actually maintain it um, as usual but the other information that you need to change over here is that the other parameters which the multi-channel uh, parameters here okay so this is actually the um, the start of the uh, potential value so it is best if you actually do LSV it will be like plus minus uh, 20 or 50 millivolt from um, uh, EOCP so like uh, if you wanted to do like beyond that let's say that you want to do potential dynamic polarization then you can actually increase the range perhaps like um, minus uh, 0 0.25 uh, and then the end you can also uh, at the positive 0 0.25 volt from uh, uh, OCP right so I guess more or less we have um, actually uh, uh, adjust the, the, the things, I mean the, the main parameters and uh, later after that in order to run you can actually press uh, this icon eh, to run it's like a, a play button eh? so just press this and it will actually uh, start to run so as we run the experiment, you can see that uh, the uh, polarization curve is start to form. Okay, so the curve is between uh, current to potential. 
and uh, I think just now I just uh, minimize uh, some other response like for example the voltage to time so you can see that this is basically the uh, I think the pre uh, OCPs yeah? you will see that uh, it's kind of almost stable and then uh, if we go back to this one I think it start to form a curve Alright, so since the experiment has ended, so to know this, you will see that at the bottom it's mentioned there stop and uh, you'll see that over there it's no longer a pause button, it's already changed to a, a run button. So in order to process uh, this uh, curve, because this curve is basically uh, a linear polarization curve and if I actually wanted to revert it or change it into a, a potential dynamic mode I have to make it in log current so that it will be uh, in a current density versus uh, potential so to do so what you need to do is you can go to over here uh, the name of the sample so you just uh, click to this uh, sample name and then uh, next what you need to do is to click uh, curves, I'm sure that you will see over here curves. Okay, and then uh, from the curve button, you can actually uh, uh, select uh, corrosion and then uh, corrosion analysis. Okay, so curve and then uh, go to corrosion and then corrosion analysis and then uh, you'll see that the curve now have uh, been converted into um, log uh, current or current density versus potential and over here you need to like uh, insert uh, some values like for example the surface area so the surface area as I said um, from the cell that we use the diameter is actually equals to 2 centimeters if you calculate this equal to pi, so the values of surface area should be 3.142 and then the equivalent weight is basically the equivalent weight of the metals that you are studying so for your information, what does it mean by equivalent weight uh, is uh, basically the weight um, I think uh, the molecular weight of, uh, uh, of the, the, the metals divided by the valency then you will get the uh, the values over there so in this case uh, for mass steel values is around uh, 2 sorry uh, 27.58 and then the density of a uh, steel is actually equals to uh, Seven point eight five. So after you have uh, insert all this, you can actually uh, click um, uh, fit. Okay, and uh, you need to actually select four points, anode and cathode. So you just press OK, and then uh, you just select uh, four points so that it will actually form uh, a tangent between the anodic and also the cathodic curve so the best practice is basically to know what is actually your uh, equal values and uh, from there you will have an idea what will be the range of uh, I think the uh, uh, range of the selected points that you want to put for anode and also cathodes so after you select two points at the anode and two points at the cathode it will actually generate this you will get uh, basically the uh, the values um, the I core or the corrosion current density you can also get the RP value or uh, the polarization resistance values the E core values uh, beta A and beta C values as well as I think the uh, corrosion rate so in order to stop the uh, 
experiment i guess now we have actually uh, run the experiment and then we have analyzed the data so you can actually stop it by uh, go to the device again and then just press disconnect so with this it will disconnect uh, i think the system with the potential stat that we'll see just now and finally you can switch off uh, the uh, power switch uh, at the uh, back of the potential stat so i hope uh, today's demonstration is useful for those who are new to drop sensor potential stat and uh, i'm happy to uh, answer any of your comments or any of your uh, questions uh, later on so have a good day and goodbye everyone